Good morning. Hi. It's uh, that time again, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, and this is my Sunday morning uh, little reading of a poem. I was just working out this morning um, that this is my 83rd uh, live reading of a poem. Um, it was 61 up until um, May, and now it's been, when that was what, every single day, and now it's... Uh, Hi, Sarah, Mary. Um, and so today is, uh, yeah, um, the first day of autumn and waking up into yet again another world, another challenge uh, being in London in uh, tier two. And I know my friend Sarah, who's watching, um, is in Cardiff and they've gone into tier three. So I hope it's going OK. Uh, hi there. Um, and yeah, I guess in London, we're likely to be heading in that direction probably before too very long. Um, as I've been reflecting a lot on how reading poems every day during the tough part of the first lockdown and then every week has been a real um, soul toucher for me. It's been really, really important. Um, and this morning I've chosen a poem which I think I think you'll enjoy. It's a poem which kind of is the antithesis in a sense to what I'm looking at out of my window at the moment which is pretty grey sky um, and, you know, a thought about, well, how's the next few weeks going to pan out in this ever-changing world? Um, and I was just having a chat this morning with my um, dearest friend, Amari, and we were having a laugh, which was great because it really raises uh, my spirits when we, we chat. And I was telling her about the poem that I was going to read today. And the, po the, co the poem is called uh, Colours Passing Through Us by Marge Piercy who's a fantastic American poet um, and I've read a couple of hers over the last few weeks and I find myself keep coming back to her quite a lot. Um, oh, we're doing okay in Firebreaker Lockdown, day two of 17. Well done, I'm looking forward to speaking to you shortly. <laughs> um, oh, hi Holly, how lovely to see you on here. Um, so yeah, I was talking to my friend Amari about um, the colours thing and I said to her, uh, I actually, well, I put the phone down on her and then I went, I phoned her back a bit later and um, said, you really bring a lot of colour into my life. Um, and her response was to laugh absolutely uproariously, which actually left me in stitches. Um, and she said, well, there's a pun. So uh, any of you that know Amari will uh, understand what that's about. Um, so what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. The other thing that this is kind of uh, news dispatches, I guess. Um, my uh, friend Anna Magnuson, uh, Anna Banana, as she's called, she runs a radio program in Iowa. It's a community radio called KHOI. And amazingly, uh, Anna takes the poem that I've read on a Sunday and she reads it on her radio program in an Iowa um, usually on a Monday or Tuesday with a little comment on, you know, why that particular poem has spoken to me at this particular time. And um, there's a link to last week's one. So it's on, on, she links it on my Facebook page if you're interested. That's one of the things that has been absolutely brilliant about this time. It has been actually meeting and reaching out to other people, both with, without any barriers or boundaries across, across the world. Hello, Malcolm. Um, oh, and Mary making bakewell tart and a quiche whilst listening well i love that i love that i'm accompanied by uh, a quiche and a bakewell tart can you just save one for me and please at least drop it on my my doorstep sometime next week um so yeah we, we've got to meet people that we've never have met before across the world and that has been really really wonderful and it's been great to be um on uh, Anna's programme every week. And I know Mary, who's just tuned in, you've been on that as well, reading your poems from Heart to Heart Messages, which is a really lovely thing. And I think, you know, let's redouble our efforts now and um, find our ways of continuing to do these interactions. And poetry, you know, is, as I've said a million times, or 83 times now, actually, um, is just a way of lifting the spirits into metaphor and imagination. Um, so I'm feeling really kind of fired up by that in spite of <laughs> having to deal with navigating this strange uh, physical world that we're in. Um, oh, I have to join the queue. Oh, thanks very much. Can you just not make an extra batch for me, Mary, please? <laughs> um, I haven't had a bake tart for a very long time. 
Um, so I will get on and read my poem now, which is what most of you tuned in for, rather than hearing me sort of rambling on about philosophically or whatever. Um, so uh, today's poem should bring some fun and colour into our lives. It's a beautiful poem by Marge Piercy, and I'm going to read it to you now. And it's called Colours Passing Through Us. Purple as tulips in May, mauve into lush velvet, purple as the stains blackberries leave on the lips, on the hands, the purple of ripe grapes, sunlit and warm as fresh. Every day I will give you a colour, like a new flower in a bud vase on your desk. Every day I will paint you as women colour each other with henna on hands and feet. Red as henna, as cinnamon, as coals after the fire is banked, the cardinal in the feeder, the roses tumbling on the arbour, their weight bending the wood, the red of the syrup I make from petals, orange as the perfumed fruit hanging their globes on the glossy tree, orange as pumpkins in the field, orange as butterfly weed and the monarchs who come to eat it, orange as my cat running lithe through the high grass, yellow as a goat's wise and wicked eyes, yellow as a hill of daffodils, yellow as dandelions by the highway, yellow as butter and egg yolks, yellow as a school bus stopping you, yellow as a slicker in a downpour. Here is my bouquet. Here is a sing song of all the things you make me think of. Here is a bleak praise for the height and depth of you and the width too. Here is my box of new crayons at your feet. Green as mint jelly, green as frog on a lily pad twanging. The green of cos lettuce upright about to bolt into opulent towers. Green as the grand chartreuse in a clear glass green as wine bottles. Blue as cornflowers, delphiniums, bachelor's buttons, blue as rockfort, blue as saga, blue as still water, blue as the eyes of a Siamese cat, blue as shadows on new snow, as a spring azure sipping from a puddle on the black top. Cobalt as the midnight sky, when day has gone without a trace, and we lie in each other's arms, eyes shut and fingers open, and all the colours of the world pass through our bodies like strings of fire. I just love that poem! I absolutely love it and it really has filled my room um, with brightness and colour today um, and yeah fantastic and some of you'll see that I've um, I've posted the famous Van Gogh um, vase of flowers as my cover photo uh, cover image today so who else is on there hi Antonio hi Annalise um, great thank you very much for checking in I hope you're all having colour in your day to day in one way or, or another, whether that's a walk in the leaves, um, making some bakewell tarts, for example. Um, and yeah, just uh, relishing in the in in what we have with each other, which is immense camaraderie and love. And let's stay connected. Let's keep going at this together, because that's where our resilience and grit and love comes from. So I feel a bit emotional this morning um, and I'll stop now. Uh, oh, hi, Holly. Uh, it is, isn't it? It's, it's an inspiring poem. I, I don't know if you know um, Marge Piercy, but it's definitely worth going and have a read of her stuff because it, it's just so uplifting. Um, yeah, Antidote to the Grey Skies. Absolutely, and that was exactly um, the reason why I chose it. Speak later to you, Mary Louise, Sarah. Um, and thanks very much for, for checking in and do share this if you think anyone else would enjoy hearing this poem today, um, which is very much about lifting our spirits. So um, without further ado, I shall go away and return for my 84th poetry reading 
um, next Sunday at 11 o'clock. So look forward to seeing you all there. Take care. Bye.